Shemot, Exodus 32. And when the people saw that Moshe delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aharan and said unto him, Up, make us Elohim, which shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man that brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim, we know not what is become of him. And Aharan said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your women, of your sons and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people broke off at the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto El Aharan. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be your Elohim, O Yashara'el, which brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And when Aharan saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aharan made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to Yahuwah. And they rose up early in the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Go, get you down, for your people, which you brought out of the land of Mitzrayim, have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be your Elohim, O Yashadel, which have brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I have seen at this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. And Moshe et besought Yahuwah Eloheyu, and said, Yahuwah, why does your wrath wax hot against your people, which you have brought forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Mitzrayim speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against your people. Remember Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yashara'el, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give at unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And Yahuwah repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. And Moshe turned and went down from the mount, and the two sapphires of the testimony were in his hand. The sapphires were written on both their sides. On the one side and on the other were they written. And the sapphires were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim graven upon the sapphires. And when Yahshua, rather, and when Yahusha heard at the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moshe, There is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery. Neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw at the calf and the dancing 
and Moshe's anger waxed hot, and he cast at the sapphires out of his hands and broke them beneath the mount. And he took at the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the water and made at the children of Yashadael drink of it. And Moshe said unto El Ahran, What did this people unto you that you have brought so great a sin upon them? And Aharon said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. You know at the people that they are set on mischief. For they said unto me, Make us Elohim, which shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man that brought us, brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim, we know not what is become of him. And I said unto them, Whosoever has any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. And when Moshe saw it, the people were naked, for Aharon had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. Then Moshe stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on Yahuwah's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man at his brother, and every man at his companion, and every man at his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moshe, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. For Moshe had said, Consecrate yourselves today to Yahuwah, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moshe said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin. And now I will go up unto El Yahuwah. Perchance I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moshe returned unto El Yahuwah and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin and have made them Elohai of gold. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray you, out of your sefer, which you have written. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my sefer. Therefore now go, Lead at the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And Yahuwah plagued at the people because they made at the calf which Aharan made.